video. Um, but what I will do here is to um, go through the other laws that we've covered and hopefully just demonstrate them um, so you can use them when we get to Boolean simplification. So the first thing is to make sure you're happy with brackets and operators. So here, the best way to look at it is to think about a math, maths expression. If we had this, now hopefully you're happy that adds up to 15. Now according to mathematical laws, we can, if all the operators are the same, we can move the terms around. So th we can say that that 4 plus 5 plus 6 is also equal to 6 plus 4 plus 5, which is equal to 5 plus 4 plus 6. And I think there might be another. Whatever combination we want, we can put in there. The important thing here is that we have all the operators are the same. We can demonstrate that with multiplication. 5 times 4 times 3, hopefully is equal to 60. 5 times 4 is 20, times 3 is 60. We could say that's the same as 3 times 4 times 5. 3 times 4 is 12, 5 twelves are 60. So again, we can rearrange them. Again, the important thing, all of the operators are the same. So we've got a times, a times, a times, a times, a plus, a plus, a plus, plus, and so on. So if the operators are the same, then we can rearrange the terms. Now that's good in Boolean algebra, because we might get a situation like this. not a or b or a and to, in order to simplify that it's actually a fairly straightforward simplification but we need to first of all recognize that this identity exists not a or a and we want to put them together so we can rearrange that and say that that is equal to this they are the same the operators were all pluses, or ors in Boolean. Because they were all the same, I could rearrange this in any order I want. I've rearranged it to put those two together, which, as an identity, gives me 1 or b equals 1. Nearly put b. It's not B. And that's because not A or A is equal to 1. Have a look at the um, identities video if you're not, not convinced by that. Um, so there's a, a very simple e example of how you can rearrange terms when the operators are the same. Now, it's exactly the same if we have an AND. So let's do an example with an AND. Not A and B and A. Again, because the operators are the same, I can rearrange. That's meant to be an AND. And I can put the not A and the A together. Now, according to Boolean um, identities, not A or A is always equal to 0. Therefore, that makes that 0 and B, which is equal to 0. You uh, and something always and something with zero. It's never going to be a one. So there's my answer. So again, as an example, we've got there. If the operators are the same, so I've got ors, I can rearrange it. If they're all ands, I can rearrange it. Now what you need to be careful of is not making a mistake and thinking that you can do this. Now there, the operators are not the same. That's an OR and that's an AND. So you cannot 
rearrange that. It doesn't work because the operators are different. So if you want to rearrange things, you need to watch out for the operators to be the same. OK, let's think about brackets. It's very similar with brackets. Again, if we look at maths, take that example. In, in maths, you do the brackets first. In Boolean algebra, you do the brackets first. 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 3 is 12. That is the same as saying 5 plus 4 plus 3. I'm putting the brackets here. We do the brackets first. 4 plus 3 is 7. Add 5 is 12. So that's true. If it's a multiplication, 6 times 3 times 2. 6 threes are 18, times 2 is 36. What about 6 times 3 times 2? 3 times 2 is 6, 6 sixes are 36. So again, that's correct. You can do that. So the same is true in Boolean algebra. But what you must notice is in order to do, the, do this, the operators, that was a that was a plus and that was a plus. That was a multiplication, that was a multiplication. Again, to swap the brackets around, you have to have all the operators, all of them the same. That's a plus and that's a plus. That's a times, that's a times. So if I now look at this is Boolean algebra, and let's have a A or That's not a very sensible example. Um, let me undo that. A or B or not. No, that is. I did have a good example. I knew I did, really. That's what I meant. So let's say we have that Boolean expression. We've got A or not A or B. According to the rules, we need to do what's in the bracket first. Now, we can't simplify that if we're doing this first. But because the operators are both ors, they've got a plus and a plus, we can rearrange the brackets. And we can say that that is the same as that, which um, gives us a or not a is always one. So we get one or b, which is one. Again, you're not sure about your identities, that is equal to 1. Go back and have a look at the identities video. So there's an example. We can do the same thing with the um, with ands. So it's basically the same example. Here we need to do not A and B. Well, it doesn't really help us. But we notice that everything is a, a and, and, and an and. Therefore, we can we can change where the brackets are, put them where we want. That helps us because I know that's an identity. A and not A is zero, so I can say that's equal to zero. And anything anded with zero is zero. A tick there. And there's two examples. Now again, ooh, they're left over from last time. Um, Again, you need to watch out. You cannot do this. Here, in this example, I've got an OR, and here I've got an AND. They are not equal to each other. That's an, and, that's an OR, and this is an AND. I cannot say that this is true. That is not true. I cannot rearrange the brackets here. I cannot rearrange the terms here because the operators are different. That's an OR and that's an AND. You can only follow these two laws if the operators are the same. If you've got everything as an AND or everything as an OR, you can do them. 
You can rearrange the brackets, you can rearrange the terms, but you cannot if they're different. So you need to be careful with that. Okay, let's move on to one of the other laws. Let's have a look over here. And 